Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE PE lesson. Today we'll be covering the final topic in Chapter 3 on the circulatory system, cardiac output. You can find exactly the topics you're looking for by clicking on the banner and make sure you subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time a new lesson is posted. There are just two learning objectives today, to explain the key terms heart rate, stroke volume and cardiac output and to identify how cardiac output can be calculated. We'll work our way through these now, but make sure you stick around to the end of the video as there'll be an opportunity for you to put what you've learned to the test. We'll begin by taking a brief look at cardiovascular fitness or stamina, an essential attribute for a vast array of physical activities. Stamina is the ability to work for long periods of time without tiring and is determined in part by the amount of blood and oxygen that can be transported to the working muscles by the heart. Athletes who want to improve their cardiovascular fitness therefore need an understanding of what happens to blood delivery during exercise, which can be achieved by examining the terms heart rate, stroke volume, and cardiac output. Now I'm sure most of you are already familiar with heart rate, which can be defined as the number of times the heart beats per minute in beats per minute or BPM. Heart rate increases as we exercise as the demand for oxygen in the working muscles goes up and it's possible to estimate your maximum heart rate by using the equation 220 minus your age. So as heart rate increases more blood is circulated around the body but it's not the only factor involved as the amount of blood that leaves the heart per beat also plays a major role. Stroke volume is the volume of blood in milliliters ejected from the heart every time it contracts and is determined by the size of our ventricles or heart chambers and the strength of our cardiac muscle. Long-term exercise stresses the heart, causing the ventricles to become larger and the cardiac muscle to contract more forcefully, thus increasing stroke volume. This of course enables trained athletes to deliver more oxygen to their working muscles, leading to an improvement in cardiovascular endurance or stamina. Lance Armstrong, the most successful cyclist of all time prior to his involvement in a blood doping scandal, had a stroke volume almost two times that of an average male, enabling him to pump huge quantities of blood with each heartbeat. Now since heart rate is the number of times the heart beats per minute and stroke volume measures the amount of blood ejected each beat, we need to take both into account if we're to determine the total volume of blood being transported around the body. Cardiac output can be defined as the total volume of blood expelled from the heart per minute in liters per minute. It can be calculated by multiplying heart rate by stroke volume and gives us a far more accurate picture of an individual's cardiovascular fitness. For example, if an athlete at rest has a heart rate of 60 beats per minute and a stroke volume of 60 milliliters, we can multiply the two values giving us a cardiac output of 3600 milliliters or 3.6 liters per minute. When an athlete starts to exercise however, both heart rate and stroke volume go up resulting in an increase in blood and oxygen delivery. Why not pause the video now to calculate cardiac output for the athlete during exercise? Make sure you include the correct units as you may be deducted a mark in your exam if you don't. Great work if you got that one right, and well done for completing topic 3.3 on cardiac output. This was a short lesson, but a really important one, as we'll be referring to these concepts many more times throughout the remainder of the course. Make sure you come back next time for the first lesson in chapter four, and subscribe and click the bell if you haven't already done so. Also, if there's anything you struggle to understand today, feel free to post a comment down below, and I'll do my best to get back to you. As always, I hope you found this lesson useful and I'll see you in the next one.